Hey peeps, it's JJ with Baby Girl Crafting. I'm back with another one of my Learn With Me episodes. And today we are going back to our little snuggle or snuggy that we made. And I have all of these ends to tie and they're just strings hanging here everywhere. And we're gonna show you what to do with them. All right, so what you're gonna need for this is you're gonna need a, a needle, preferably a needle that has, let's see, I have two sizes right here. So you're gonna want a needle. I'm not sure which way it's gonna look better. We'll put it up here. So we're gonna need a needle that has a very big eye, and I have two. This one is for like, would be for like a larger stitch or like afghan when you're using chunky yarn. But we're just using uh, worsted weight, so we're gonna stick with this one that I have. And if you want a, if you're using fine yarn, you're gonna probably want to use like a darning needle. But either way, you want it to not have a sharp point on it. You want it to be kind of dull on the top, but yet pointed at the same time. All right, so join me and we'll go and I'll show you what we're gonna be doing. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we are going to, I kind of pinch it and put it on our needle. So whatever you need to do to get it threaded. And actually I need to turn this. So the easiest way for me to see to do this one is to kind of go down here and you're just gonna go through the stitches that already you've you've sewn. And you, you wanna make sure you stick on the one side, the back side, because you don't want them showing in the front side. And then you just pull it through. We. Oops. All right, now this one is, sorry, my thread, almost, I almost pulled my thread off. This one we're gonna, you're gonna wanna definitely put this in here as much as possible because this is for, you know, an infant or a toddler's gonna be playing with this. You don't want them to have these threads coming apart. So first I put it, go one direction, and then this one, then I turn around, that, that puts it in there and kinda holds it, but then to lock it into place, I turn around and this is where this loop is. I wanna make sure that I go around that loop and stick it in another loop coming back the same direction. And you can do this back and forth thing as often as you want. Like I just did it that one way. And then I might wanna go back in these stitches right here, which is a different section. Trying to make sure I don't get it on the front. and bring it through, and then again, lock that stitch in by turning around and not using this stitch, going over that stitch, and then coming back. Okay, we'll just do it. I'm having trouble getting it in that stitch right there. There we go, I think. That works, okay. So then you just kind of come back. So. Once it's in there, it's in there pretty good and it, it doesn't look too bad. And then when you flip it over, you don't even you don't even see it. And I would go ahead and do it until you're all done, although until you've stitched it in. This one was really long, so it's not, I can, I'm gonna snip some of this off. And what I do to snip it is I kind of pull it back just a little bit, then snip it, and then stretch my yarn out, and then it's in there nice and safe and secure, and you can't even see it. So I have two more threads up here that we're gonna go ahead and do. And one's on one side and one's on the other. And let me go ahead and show you. This one is kinda at the top. So I'm actually, let's do this one first. Cause it's at the very top and I need it to go, or I want it, need it is not really the right word. I wanna make sure that it doesn't show. So I'm actually gonna bring it down from the top before I really worry about. Then I can run it through. Oops, that came off. Now, if, you're, if your thread is shorter than giving you the ability to use your needle, you can always run the thread first. Or, I mean, thread, yeah, tongue tied. You can always run your um, needle through first. Just, I know it's hard to see. I'm just running my needle through some stitches. Then I can take my needle, or I mean my yarn, and thread my needle. 
and pull it through. And then I want to lock that stitch. So I go over the last stitch I did so that it's not going to be pulled out. And then I just kind of run back over it. There's tons of different ways to do this. Basically, you're just sewing your little loose threads through your piece of work that you've done till those there's none of those your ends see I don't want to you don't want to pull it so tight that it there you go sorry got that little uh, hippo head in the way so again this is the last one for this project and same thing I'm just gonna choose an area where I'm gonna run these through Again, trying to avoid getting your, you're using the backs of your stitches so that you're not getting, it's not going to be seen from the front. And just pull it through. And then, I'm trying to make it so you guys can see. Going over this last stitch and running it back the way I came. That To me, that just seems to lock it in. A little bit better more secure and secure is kind of important to me on these baby things since I made this for a it's not really a baby more of a toddler baby toddler age pull it through and then I'm just gonna snip and make sure you don't snip your project and then you can't even see where it was right there there all right. Okay, so this is what we've got, and no ends sticking out. Yay, my snuggie, my little snuggie. Thanks for joining me for another uh, Learn With Me episode, and stay tuned. And next Saturday, I'll be posting the next Learn With Me crochet uh, episode. Later, peeps. <laughs>